Hello, today we are going to format. So create a partition table, format, create a partition on a USB drive from the Linux operating system using just command line tools. So for that, I have inserted the USB drive. Let's see what's on it. It's a um, Windows ISO, so it's a Windows installer. I have searched on the internet Linux format USB disk. I have found this uh, article which uh, runs the command lines that I would expect. So first of all, we need to see if the USB drive is seen by the Linux operating system. So it has a device, device uh, files in slash dev. For that we have mount. So it's this thing, slash dev slash SDA which is mounted on slash media slash my username slash ESD underscore ISO, which is the label of the partition. It's mounted as UDF. There's also DF, which says that slash dev slash SDA is mount it as slash media slash and marius p slash uh, esd underscore iso and the next one is lsblk which shows the information as a tree view so sda there's i'm not sure what this thing is does not seem to have a partition table at least not a MBR or a GPT one. Okay, so the next thing to do would be to actually unmount all of the partitions that are mounted from this USB drive. First of all, we know that the we'll write down the device name so that's dev slash sda there's no sda1 or 2 or any other partitions underneath slash dev slash sda so we want to unmount let's become super user we want to unmount sda okay lsblk to confirm so now SDA is not mounted anymore, whereas it was mounted previously. Okay. The next thing to do is to use FDisk, which allows us to SDA. So don't just blindly copy paste commands, edit them to the values that are correct on your computer. And above all, don't do anything like this at home. It's very risky. You need to be very, very careful not to destroy your current drives and partitions. Okay, so fdisk slash dev slash sda. Okay, what does it say? The device contains UDF signature and it will be removed by a write command. Device does not contain a recognized partition table, so it created a MBR disk label. Let's see the help, command M for help. 
So fdisk seems to know how to create a GPT partition table with the letter G. This option create a new empty partition table type GPT. So let's go there. We need to select between a GPT partition table and a MBR partition table. So most uh, hard disks nowadays that are used by, or SSDs, NVMEs that are used by Windows, use GPT partition table. And most of them used to use MBR partition tables 20 years ago. So at some point in the Windows world, there was this transition from MBR partition tables to GPT partition tables. The MBR partition tables were the ones with uh, um, four primary partitions, where you had SDA1 and SDA2, and then inside SDA3 or 4, you had SDA5 or HDA5, 6, 7, 8, etc. So you had a virtual primary partition, and then you had inside those secondary partitions. Okay, whereas GPT is the GUID, Global Unique ID partition table, is the newer format, and uh, it uh, allows to create more partitions than the four, the four primary in MBR, has um, less limitations on the maximum file size, and it's generally the best thing that we want to use on uh, Windows, but also on uh, Linux. So 99% of cases, I'm using a GPT partition table. So let's create that. So I wrote G, which means create a new empty GPT partition table. I'm pressing the key enter. Okay says it will create a GPT uh, partition table, but it, not, it did not do anything yet because I didn't select yet to write table to disk and exit. Okay. We could um, write and exit now if you want. So let's go W, save and exit. And now let's look again. So it's still uh, just one uh, drive with um, zero partitions inside. Okay, now it does not complain that uh, there is no partition table. Let's look at the help. There's a hybrid um, GPT partition table with a protective MBR space. We would need to create a new partition, at least one, if we want to put data in there, which we do. Let's print the partition table P. Set this type uh, GPT the partition table. Okay, no partitions right now, so let's create at least one. We go N, which is add a new partition. So that was first a G to create a GPT. And then N to create a new partition. N says what number should it have. I'm pressing enter because I'm 
I agree with the default, so default 1 for partition number, default 2048 for first sector, last sector is the last one by default, so it will create just one partition, which stretches the entirety of the USB drive, it's okay. And it has used the partition type Linux file system of size 28.8 gigabytes. Okay, let's change this. Uh, so it's this okay. We can, uh, do we actually need to change the partition type? So GUID partition tables can have uh, can contain partitions and a partition can have a partition type uh, which are these uh, semi standardized de facto standardized GUID so this is a globally unique ID which when applied to a partition that might mean this thing, Microsoft LDM metadata. So probably the partition type is this one, 0F ending in with uh, DE4. How do we exit this thing? Unchanged Linux file system. Let's list. Linux file system. Okay. We need to remember to write the changes that we did. So the first time when we run ran GP um, F disk, we just created the GPT partition table. We've exited F disk. Now we've opened. We've started F disk again. We've created one partition which is slash dev slash SDA, which spans the entirety of the USB drive. And now before exiting, we need to write the new changes. Otherwise the partition will not actually be created to, on the USB drive. So W2 write, and that's it. Let's look at um, LSBLK again. Previously we only had SDA and now we have also a slash dev slash SDA one. Okay, but SDA1 is not mountable, you cannot mount it because it has no, it's not formatted to any file system format. So let's choose one file system, let's be interoperable with Windows and use NTFS. So that was W and then W, and we'll go with this one. So make a fast dot ntfs minus minus fast and then Windows will create so when you format a partition in Windows there's a checkbox which is enabled by default to make the format quick which is probably the parameter minus minus fast that we see here and uh, the label by default is new volume. So let's make this thing 28 GB. So some random string as label. And then the device dev 
SDA1 in my case, so this guy. Okay, it's fast, and um, the operating system sees the new partition, sees that its type is NTFS, offers that I mount the new partition slash SDA slash dev slash SDA1. So let's actually mount it and see what's in there. It's empty. Okay, so the operating system has mounted the partition for me automatically. The correct mount command line for NTFS is quite long because uh, you need to specify which user should own the files that are owned by the user administrator on the NTFS partition. Which is this thing, UID 1001 and GID 1001. And then that we want UTF-8, so we, if the KD Plasma desktop environment did not provide this automatic uh, functionality to mount the USB drives NTFS partition automatically, we would need to mount the partition ourselves. And we would need a mount command line that produces similar results in the mount table. So when we go mount and then pipe grep SDA1, the results should be similar. And the syntax is, I don't know, let me find out the syntax and I'll be back. In the past, the way to mount a NTFS partition in Linux was to use the Fuse file system in user space partition type NTFS-3G. But nowadays, there's the option of uh, a um, in-kernel file system type, which is NTFS3. NTFS fully functional read-write driver. Which has these mount options as we already saw previously. Okay. Let's see a common line in here. NTFS. Just a second. So the syntax is something like this. I'm a super user, so go, I go mount minus T and then the type, which is called NTFS3. Then um, the name of the device of the partition, so slash dev slash sda1, where I want to mount it, I just made sure that slash mnt directory is empty and it exists by default. And then minus o and the long list of options. Let's see if um, we need to escape some spaces or some double quotes or something. Okay, so I just copied whatever was in parentheses. After the 
command line parameter minus O4 options. Okay, let's see if this is okay, so no errors. And now we need to run mount and grab SDA1 again and compare the two outputs. This one this one. So it's now it's mounted twice. So let's go safely remove first. Okay, so it's the same uh, output from mount, but with a different directory by default. UDEV or systemd or whoever does this thing uses slash media slash username and then slash the partition label. Whereas I went with a simpler slash MNT when I, when I have mounted from the command line this uh, partition. And the directory is here, we can do anything in it. So that was it. I took a USB drive. I wanted to completely destroy all of the data that was in there. Does not really matter what partition table it was, how many partitions there were, because I'm trying to format the USB drive from scratch. There are times when you cannot edit the existing partitions or you just want to start from scratch. And the most comprehensive way to actually do that is to create a totally new partition table on that USB drive, then create a, as many partitions as you want, usually one because it's a small USB drive, just 28 gigabytes. And then you put the file system type that you want on that partition. Then the last step is to mount the newly created partition such that your operating system can see it and you can start copying files over from your existing operating system to the USB drive. Thank you.